So we're just going to call in the angels and ask what it is, angels, guides, ascended masters, beings of love and light, surround us, enter into our awareness, connect with us. And I ask that we each be surrounded by divine white light and the 100,000 angels of the highest love, light, protection, healing, and guidance. And I ask that this wisdom, this guidance that enters into our day is exactly what you need to hear in this day. So I'm going to ask, I'm using actually, you know what, I'm using two decks now because the yeah. angels keep calling me over to that one. But I'm going to start with the Divine Abundance deck. We're on day eight of our Magical Manifesting Challenge. And eight is the symbol of abundance. So grounded. And we have this beautiful little um, I don't know if it's a cow or a lamb. I think it might be a cow today. I've seen it as a lamb before. Maybe a lamb. With a little bird sitting on her head. And right here at the third eye. So remembering that you're a messenger. And this brings us the reminder that to be an enlightened being, to be um, ascended, in this journey today, in this time, we're all seeking transformation, the little pink butterfly symbolizing transformation. We're all seeking transformation. And as we seek that transformation, we need to remember that we are all transforming. And we don't need to be some extraordinary person. We don't need to be fabulously wealthy, Ordinary people are now transforming into extraordinary people before your eyes. That's what this spiritual awakening, that's what this wave is about. The most ordinary people you meet, that person you meet in the grocery store. I have a lovely, I, I purposely get in the lineup um, to be served by one particular cashier because she has such lovely energy. The girl who went by the door to see if I wanted to switch internet providers who carries treats in her pocket for my puppy. These are the evolved people on earth. So remembering that we wish to ground our light and we, when we become grounded, it's not density that we're grounding into, it's light. We're assisting and grounding those higher energies. We are the anchors for the higher light that's coming onto earth. Remember, you're an anchor for that light. And as an anchor for that light, remember that everyone around you is also anchoring that light. So allowing yourself to relax into that ground. It's not about putting down spikes or tree roots to keep you stuck on earth. It's about putting down those energy, crystal energy, uh, columns down from your energetic column so that you can pull those beautiful earth energies up into you so that we can receive from the earth. Abundance is about receiving, about receiving and sending and receiving and sending. It's that cycle. There is no one on this little card who thinks, oh no, I'm not going to have this today. There is always stability, always support when we deeply connect with Mother Earth, with nature. So we're going to do that. We're going to, that's from um, Tosha Silver's Divine Abundance Deck. And I'm also going to pull a couple of cards from the Archangel Animal Deck from Diana Cooper. So I'm working on my own deck and I hope to be pulling cards from that soon. If you join me on school or follow me on Insight Time, uh, sorry, follow me on Instagram, um, you may find some of those sneak previews on those sites. Definitely those sneak previews of the deck that I'm channeling uh, have been going out in my newsletter. So you can join my newsletter through my, um, my website. Yeah. So... Angels, spirit animals, what message, what wisdom, what guidance? Who would you send to walk with us today? 
the shock. Now, don't you always think, oh no, there's such a shock. I when I when I tell you that um you can find my cards on my my website, I immediately think, oh no, you're trying to sell something. I hear myself and I'm like, well, I don't know how this works. So the shark reminds us that we don't need to bare our teeth. We can lead through peace. We can be that that person. Notice the sharks have these beautiful lights as they come through. And I'm reminded of the dogfish that didn't seem to be sharks when I was a child and how many of them would swim around and they really didn't feel like any more than my puppy does. My puppy's still in the biting stage and she has this tendency to nip and nibble and her teeth don't hurt. They don't cut. And I think that's what we're being reminded of that. Yes, we can be cautious when we're leading and we can lead through peace. We can lead through joy. Um, Archangels Metatron and Archangel Jewels come with this card. And Archangel Metatron is the Archangel who brings this beautiful golden light, this beautiful golden Christ light, and is assisting us through sacred geometry to an anchor the Christ light consciousness grid into the earth. So you can call on Archangel Metatron to assist you with that. Archangel Jules works with the water energy, with the oceans. And Archangel Jules comes in always to remind us to move into the flow, but to move into divine flow. So if we want to move into the flow of abundance, we need to flow with who we are. I can be a leader. I can even be a shark in a fish tank. But a shark in a fish tank is someone who's taking advantage. I want to be a peaceful leader. I want to become a light warrior. I know that there are going to be sharks in this world, in this fish tank. I also know that that shark energy can come with me and can assist me in moving through the densities, moving through the fear. I can call on the powerful energy of the shark to assist me in seeing what is for me and what is not for me and to keep me safe. A lot of times when we're going through this ascension, we're lifting up. I had a dream last night. I was in the elevator lifting up and it reminds me of the ascension column of light that I channeled yesterday. And I'd been listening to this powerful meditation and I'm lifting up in the elevator and I'm in the elevator and I'm, uh, no, 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 let me out. I forgot something. I forgot something. And we're so attached to the things that we want as a part of the earth energy, that we're, what are we willing to let go of as we lift into our ascension columns? What are we willing to let go of? What are we ready to say? Okay. And when I arrived, I didn't get off on the floor I was sending, looking for. I got off at the King's Landing. And the King's Landing was the space where higher power and higher will and my team we're meeting with me to give me more information, to bring me more wisdom. And I was like, okay, fine. You know, I left all this stuff downstairs, right? And it's all going to disappear and somebody's going to steal it. They're like, okay, this is really important. So that's the way we are. We, we need to realize that we need to recognize when it's time to let go and time to detach and allow ourselves to be assisted in releasing the density. So call the energy of the shark in. When you're trying to lift up, you're trying to move into, maybe you're trying to open your own spiritual business and you want to bring light out there and you want some guidance and some wisdom on how do I do that? I teach this. I have a community on school where you can come in and get assistance and wisdom and guidance. Um, and like-minded people, who want to lift up together in a different way. We want to shift and we want to change this planet. We want to assist the world in moving into a higher vibration. And how are we going to do that? We're going to bring our lives into balance. So balance means that we bring the divine feminine and the divine masculine into our lives. 
and the badger comes up and immediately reminds me of um, this energy of badgering the witness <laughs> of saying, okay, but I want this and I want, I, and, and is this the right way? Is it, do that. Talk to your team. And when your team is coming forward and they're saying, okay, this is, it's, it's love and it's light and we're lifting, make sure, ask them, make sure it's your own soul team and it's the energy of your soul. Make sure when you're doing that automatic writing and when you're interviewing your guides or when you're talking to a spirit that you're helping to cross over, go ahead, be firm, be certain of who it is that you're receiving your guidance from. Ask questions. Allow yourself to learn in this process. Allow yourself to bring forward the truth. And sometimes when we're diving deep and we're coming out of that full moon, so we're at that last push towards the new moon, so that stuff is coming up to be cleared. One of the most important questions to ask is, is this mine? Is this really mine? Do I really have to deal with this? Do I really have to work on this? Is this old stuff? Interview that ego that's standing in front of. There's a shark protecting your inner child. So make sure you talk to that shark and make sure that that shark is the loving parent that you are and not some other energy that's left over from the 3D old paradigm. Archangels Mary and Sandophon come in. Archangels Mary and Sandophon. Mary is the, I got this, <laughs> this sneaky little AI that pops up and gives the thumbs up on this. Archangels Mary and Sandophon. Mary is the archangel who works together with Archangel Raphael. And she's the twin flame of Raphael who assists with bringing the miracles and the healing energy into this world. She's grounding miraculous light through the divine feminine. Sandophon is anchoring us to the Lady Gaia, to the crystalline ascension grid. So they're helping us to bring our lives into balance. We have in the cards today, we have Archangel Metatron, I don't know where I put you. There you are. Archangel Metatron bringing that beautiful Christ-like consciousness grid down through, anchoring our, the Christ-like consciousness. We have the divine abundance reminding us that we are the ones who are anchoring. We need to ground our light up. We're anchoring that new level of light that's coming in. And we have the badger, the, the archangels Mary, and Archangel Sandophon showing us how this light is being anchored into the earth. So we're anchoring this new ascension light. This light is being anchored into the earth through us, through you, through the common ordinary people. Most It says many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. So the regular folks were the ones who are anchoring these high vibrational lights. We're the ones who are anchoring the energies that are coming down through the sharks that are coming down and being grounded in through the badgers. Allow yourself to be the regular ordinary folks that are anchoring these columns of light. And I'm going to invite you now to come into meditation with me. And we're going to anchor some of that light. So I'm just going to invite you to roll your shoulders back, maybe move your neck around. As you begin to bring your attention, your awareness to your breath. And I ask that we each be surrounded by divine white light. And by a hundred thousand angels of the highest love, light, protection, healing, and guidance. And I now invite the highest, most loving possible angels, guides, ascended masters, archangels of your highest, most loving soul team. 
to step forward, to enter into your awareness, to assist you with raising your vibration, with cleansing your energy field, and with realigning with receiving the highest vibration of unconditional love and light that you are able to hold at this time. And as you continue to focus on your breath, we invite in the archangels. Ha, huh. and we have somebody coming in to join us. We're going to wait and pause. Good morning, Muhammad. We were just going into the meditation. Hello, dear. Good morning. Good nice morning. to talk with you. It's good How to have you. How is your morning? My morning is going very well. Thank you. I've just I'm new to this I... community. Mind you, if you introduce you, give me more of a... about the community. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We are, um, huh. I, I am an empowerment coach, a spiritual awakening guide, and I started this community a number of years ago through Zoom and through other platforms. And then I just found school in the last few weeks. And, uh -huh. and um, I've moved a lot of my courses and my coaching and my platform to the school community. And currently we're doing a 21 day magical manifesting challenge. So we're on day eight. The goal of the community is to assist and empower people who are uh, in the midst of a spiritual awakening. Yeah, so for me, like for the last, like one month ago, I started doing like breath work, mm -hmm. the pranayama. Yeah. And uh, so, like give me like so many emotions to the surface from the subconscious. Sometimes I cry, sometimes I shake, sometimes I start sweating, sometimes I move very intensely. After that it's like it's just breath work can be very intense, absolutely. Yeah, and they call it like a Kundalini awakening, which is your life force stuff like Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we work through some of that. We, I, I work with the angelic realm and with the ascended masters. And that's what we were just about to do. We were just about to go into a meditation to clear some of the energies and help us to anchor our life. Because the breath work is moving, giving us the power yeah. to move the energy through our body and let it move through and release a lot of those energies. And then it opens a new space for us to open up, for us to um, receive higher levels of light. So thank you for choosing to do that work. That takes a lot of courage. Hello, I just lost like the connection right now, I get it. Yeah, it it's as well like, show me like there is so many blockages in my body, like I have to work through them. It's like energetic right. one. Because it's just sh show you like an intense emotion that you normally like you don't process by yourself. Like right. You either have to be in a trance or you have to be in very calm way. Like what pranayama do is like just make you relax, relax, relax. After that, this kundalini that's in the spine start like going up and up. And if you have like so many blockages, Start kind of like start breaking me down in order yep. for this life force to to be free and go through my body. Absolutely. We break down to break it through. Absolutely. I've done a lot of that. So we're gonna go into meditation. So maybe we'll we'll call in the angels to help release some of those blockages more gently. Yeah, just give me like one second. Because okay. I one minute I will be home. All right. Well, we'll give you a few minutes to get home then. 
but like there's nobody's joining. Ah, but one more, I... one more question, like, is this for, like, when you start this process, it's kind of like everything starts falling down, your perspective about reality, like your friendship, your family, kind of like you became kind of alienated, like separated from people. It's like you are transcending to something like, no, usually like normal people cannot understand or fathom. Right. Don't know why. And that's that's very much the purpose of this community, Muhammad, is that we often find I will tell you that what happens from my own experience as we start to break down and we go through those um transformations, some of the people in our lives fall away because they are not they have not chosen to transform in the same way. Um, and some of them start to come closer. And they transform with us. Yeah. But for so, this, like, is it like this one, everyone have to go through this in order for them to transform? Or is it just this is the healer path? This like, is this is a great question. Does everyone have to go through this so that they can transform? I believe more and more people are choosing to go through this more and more people are making that choice and saying, I am going to choose to transform. I am going to choose to move through this transformational process. Yeah, I got you. I mean, yeah. there's like some paradoxical and conflict inside my psyche because this path that I'm going in, which is like waking the Kundalini, mm -hmm. working on my trauma, healing the traumas usually like this path people take it once they want to heal people and they become like psychic healer something like that mm -hmm. am i right yes absolutely yeah. absolutely and, and i believe I, like, it's our myself, soul i ask myself all all the time like do i want to be a healer do i want to be an and that's a part of the awakening process finding what it is that we're awakening to and what we're awakening for. So seeking our purpose and looking for our purpose as we start to awaken. And then we say, well, I want to do this and I want to do this. The choices, the new opportunities start to present themselves as we open up. Can you hear me? I can. Yeah, great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, continue, continue, my dear. So the choices, the choices and the opportunities to learn, to grow, um, and what we want to do with it as we awaken, as, as we open up, we want to guide others or lead others. Those opportunities come to us um, as the kundalini moves through us. So my understanding, my interpretation is as the energy moves through and shifts things and things change, um, it's also a that divine source energy getting to know us. So when I teach psychics or if I teach people how to tune in and how to tap into their energy field and how to embody more light and recognize that those light beings, the, the higher consciousness that's coming to work with us is getting to know us on a deeper level as the energy moves through. So we get to know ourselves and we look at and say, okay, well, this no longer resonates. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to move that out. And we call the Kundalini energy, we call the Shakti energy in to assist us with that. To assist us that with moving the trauma out. Because we're we're being upgraded. It's kind of like cleaning out our computers. Yeah, as well like shaking a chicken for you. Pardon me? Like, can you... It's like uh, it's you're breaking up a bit there, Muhammad. I'm going to go into meditation, so I'm going to invite you to join me in the meditation. Hello. And perhaps me? if you would like to chat later, perhaps you. I I have um on my website I have a three three thirty minute one on one introductory session. So perhaps you'd like to chat later, and we can meet. 
and talk about how we and the community can assist you as you go through this awakening. If you'd like to do that. You told me what's like something up our purpose. So we'll Okay, so you're breaking up, and that might be on my end, too, because we have a storm here. So I'm going to go into meditation, and I'm going to private message you so that we can book an appointment for us to have a chat. Of course. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, okay, got you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I ask that we each be surrounded by divine white light and by a hundred thousand angels of the highest love, light, protection, healing, and guidance. And I ask that our highest, most loving possible angels, guides, ascended masters, archangels of the highest love, light, protection, healing, and guidance enter in and assist me with channeling this angel healing meditation. I ask that your highest, most loving soul team step forward, enter into your awareness, assist you with cleansing your energy field, realigning with receiving the highest vibration of unconditional love and light that you are able to hold at this time. And I invite you to bring your attention, your awareness to your breath as you maybe envision yourselves handing over to your angels anything which is no longer serving, anything which you may feel is holding you back from deeply receiving this energy healing. And as you continue to focus on your breath, we invite you to bring your attention, your awareness to the East as we call in Archangel Raphael. Notice the shift in vibration as Archangel Raphael enters into your space. We invite Archangel Raphael, the Archangel of Air, to fill your space with an emerald green healing light. And as you breathe in the emerald green healing light of Archangel Raphael, allow that healing light to flow through every cell in your body. And as you continue to deeply relax, consciously lifting in vibration, we invite Archangel Raphael to raise the frequency of your mental body. And as you continue to receive the healing frequencies of Archangel Raphael, as if a gentle breeze is blowing through your mental body, releasing any lower vibrational beliefs, any thoughts that no longer serve your highest light. Cleansing and clearing your mental body. As the winds of the Holy Spirit blow through your mental body, we invite you to bring your attention, your awareness to the South as we call in Archangel Michael. Making 
Notice the shift in vibration as Archangel Michael enters into your space. We invite Archangel Michael, the Archangel of Fire, the Archangel of the Etheric Body, to fill your space with a brilliant sapphire blue healing light. And as you breathe in the brilliant sapphire blue healing light of Archangel Michael, allow that healing light to flow through every cell in your body. And as you continue to deeply relax, consciously lifting in vibration, we invite Archangel Michael to cut away the densities in your etheric body, to cut away any cords which may be keeping you attached to lower vibrational timelines, to cords attached to addiction, cords attached to power struggles, to victimization, to trauma, any cords that may be draining your energy field. We invite Archangel Michael to cut the cords and release them into the light, into the violet flame. And as you continue to receive the healing frequencies of Archangel Michael, we invite you to bring your attention, your awareness to the West as we call in Archangel Gabriel. Notice the shift in vibration as Archangel Gabriel enters into your space. We invite Archangel Gabriel, the Archangel of Water, the Archangel of the Emotional Plane, to fill your space with a brilliant diamond white healing light. And as you breathe in the brilliant diamond white healing light of Archangel Gabriel, allow that healing light to flow through every cell in your body. And as you continue to deeply relax, consciously lifting in vibration in the brilliant diamond white healing light of Archangel Gabriel. We invite Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency of your emotional body. You may become aware of a waterfall of light flowing through your space as it gently rinses away any densities Gently pulsating through your physical body, raising the frequency of the water energy in your physical body, releasing any stuck or stagnant energy, any trapped emotions. And allowing the gentle water of Archangel Gabriel to wash away any trapped trauma in your physical body, any trapped trauma in your emotional body. As Archangel Gabriel raises the frequency of your emotional body, placing into it the healing codes of joy, downloading peace into your emotional body, receiving the healing frequencies of hope into your emotional body. As you continue to receive the healing frequencies of Archangel Gabriel, we invite you to bring your attention, your awareness to the north. As we call in Archangel Uriel. You 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 Notice the shift in vibration as Archangel Uriel enters into your space. We invite Archangel Uriel, the Archangel of Earth, the Archangel of the physical plane, to fill your space with a brilliant ruby gold healing light. 
And as you breathe in the ruby gold healing light of Archangel Uriel, allow that healing light to flow through every cell in your body. And as you continue to deeply relax, consciously lifting in vibration, the ruby gold healing light of Archangel Uriel, allow Archangel Uriel to raise the frequency of your physical body. You may become aware of a gentle, pulsating energy. As Archangel Uriel moves through your physical body, releasing any density, any lower vibration, any tension in your physical body, inviting it to relax. Activating your physical body's abilities to heal itself. Activating every healthy cell in your physical body's ability to heal. Cleansing out the stuck or stagnant energies. Raising the frequency of your body systems, raising the frequencies of your skeletal system, raising the frequency of your organs, raising the frequency of your blood, your arteries, your veins, raising the frequency of your respiratory system, Increasing your body's physical ability to hold higher levels of light, to hold higher vibrations. And as you continue to receive the healing frequencies of four archangels, we invite you to bring your attention, your awareness to the space above as we call in Archangel Metatron. Notice the shift in vibration as Archangel Metatron enters into your space. We invite Archangel Metatron, the Archangel of Sacred Geometry, the Archangel of the Christ-like Consciousness Grid, to fill your space with a brilliant gold and white healing light. And as you breathe in the gold and white healing light of Archangel Metatron, allow that healing light to flow through every cell in your body. And as you continue to deeply relax, consciously lifting in vibration, we invite Archangel Metatron to activate the Christ-like consciousness grid in your space. As if a fine golden mesh begins to move down through your space, Cleansing and clearing, releasing any lower vibrations, activating the energy of unconditional love. Activating the energy of unconditional forgiveness. Continuing to flow down, releasing any densities in your space, in your energy field, raising the frequency of the walls, Raising the frequency of the floor, raising the frequency of the ceiling, raising the frequency of the physical objects in your space. Releasing any energies and raising the frequency, cleansing and clearing. Bringing your space into alignment with the higher consciousness with the Christ-like consciousness, with the healing grids, anchoring the golden light, the healing grids into your space. 
As you continue to receive the healing frequencies of five archangels, we invite you to bring your attention, your awareness to the space below as we call in Archangel Sandophon. Sound Notice the shift in vibration as Archangel Sandophon enters into your space. We invite Archangel Sandophon, the Archangel of the Crystalline Earth Grid, to fill your space with a brilliant silver white healing light. And as you breathe in the silver white healing light of Archangel Sandophon, allow that healing light to flow through every cell in your body. And as you continue to deeply relax, consciously lifting in vibration, we invite Archangel Sandophon to open and activate your Earth Star Chakra connecting you with the high vibrational energies of earth. And as the 5D energies flow up from Lady Gaia, we invite Lady Gaia to open and activate your Gaia Gateway Chakra, allowing you to flow the energies, the high vibrational energies from high above, from the Christ-like consciousness, down through your physical body, moving down through, all the way through your physical body, through your chakra system, down into, through your earth star chakra, and down into the center, the core of Gaia. As you continue to receive these healing frequencies, as the high vibrational, Healing light moves up from the earth. We invite you to breathe into your heart space. As you begin to cycle your breath, breathing high vibrational earth light up into your heart, sending it on the exhale up to the divine. Breathing the high vibrational divine light down through your crown chakra down to your heart, sending it out through your earth star chakra and down into Gaia, continuing to cycle your breath as you breathe out from the earth, exhaling to the divine, breathing down from the divine, exhaling to the earth, allowing that cycle of breath to move through your body and as you continue to allow the high vibrational ascension light to anchor through you, we invite your higher self to step forward, to bring into your awareness, wisdom, guidance. You may wish to ask at the space of your heart, what guidance do you have for me in this day. And trusting that the wisdom, the guidance has been received, we invite you to bring your awareness back to your breath. So we invite Archangel Sandophon to anchor this light. As you bring your awareness back to your breath, we thank the Archangels, thanking Archangel Metatron, thanking Archangel Raphael, thanking Archangel Michael, thanking Archangel Gabriel, thanking Archangel Uriel. We invite Archangel Sandophon to assist us with gently closing down our Gaia Gateway Chakra to a level that's comfortable, gently closing down our Earth Star Chakra to a level that's comfortable, gently closing down each of our physical chakras
to a level that's comfortable, allowing us to move back into our bodies. We invite Lady Gaia to receive any additional light that we are unable to hold at this time for her own ascension process. And as you begin to breathe back into your body, we thank Archangel Sandifon. We invite you to take three deep cleansing breaths. On the first breath, becoming aware of the space around you. And on the second deep cleansing breath, becoming aware of your physical body, perhaps the sensations of the air on your skin. As you take your third deep cleansing breath, maybe bringing your hands together, rubbing your hands together, laying your hands on your chest, inviting yourself back into your body, calling all of the energy of your light back into your body. We ask that each soul be wrapped in sheets of rainbow healing, love, and light as this healing is integrated into your beings. When you're ready, if it serves you to do so, open your eyes. <laughs>